Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, we're going to go over the HTML5 video player with Lightbox widget. So I just released this widget a few days ago. Um, it has been requested to have uh, to be able to put HTML5 video within a Lightbox. Uh, so here I have a few examples. We have the HTML5 video player. So I'll click play. So you can you know go through the video. You can pause it, change the volume, you can make it full screen, looks good. And this uh, video player works really well on mobile. Um, then here we have the HTML5 video in a light box. So if I click here, we can see the video player opens in a light box. Okay. And you can set the size of the video player within the light box as well. If I resize, the video player is responsive within the light box. And it's also responsive here as well. So if I resize, we can see this video play player here resizes as well. All right, and then we have YouTube video in a light box. So we'll click here, and here we have a YouTube video. Hey, what's up? Large All right, so in this video tutorial, I'm gonna go over how to use the widget and where to access it. So let's begin. Muse for you, awesome websites without code. So here I'll just go to the library panel and I'll type in HTML here. And here we have the HTML5 video player with Lightbox. And actually, rather than typing HTML, I'll just go to the widget. Uh, so here we have it. So we have the HTML5 video player at first. We have the at first with gradient Lightbox and the at first with Lightbox. So with this Lightbox here, you can add a solid color for the Lightbox background with an opacity or you can add an image. Then we have the HTML5 video player widget, which is the 16 by nine aspect ratio video player. And we have the HTML5 video player within a light box. We have the YouTube video player and the YouTube video player within a light box. So I'll go over all of this in this tutorial. And uh, if you don't see the library panel here, you can go to window and click on library. So here we go. So the first thing I'll do is add the HTML5 video player at first. I'm gonna add the add first with Lightbox. If you add uh, the add first with Lightbox, that also covers the video player. So it'll cover the video player in a Lightbox and the 16 by nine video player. So here I'll add the add first with Lightbox. So I'll click, hold and drag and place at the top of my Adobe Muse website. And then I'll bring in the HTML5 video player widget. So here I'll click, hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse. And at first when you drag in the widget, it just says video player uh, 16 by nine or six, the 16 nine aspect ratio. Uh, most videos today are at a 16 nine aspect ratio. So you can just add your video and it won't have any black borders around it. You just wanna make sure that you save out your video in a 16 nine aspect ratio. So here we have, for the widget options, we have instance number, uh, you can select an mp4 file, a WebM, webm file, an ogv file, and a poster image. Uh, most browsers uh, now support mp4, so you can just add webm and ogv for fallback, or you can just add an mp4 file. So I'll go ahead and add uh, an mp4 file. So I'll click on add file, and here I have the muse for you opener. So I'll just double click on the mp4, so I'll double click. And because I have the other files, I'll go ahead and add them. I have the WebM here and the OGV. All right, and then I'll select the poster image. So we have an image uh, before the user presses the play button. So I'll click on poster image. And then here for the video player, we can set the video player theme. We can say default, light, or dark. And we can set the initial volume of the player. You can choose between zero, which is no volume, and one. Uh, right now it's set to 0.5. You can set it to autoplay and you can loop the video. And then here is just a few references uh, in the widget. So each new video requires a unique instance number. So if you had two videos, you'd want to give each video a unique instance number. So the second video I could do instance number two and you know three, four, and so on for the different video players. All right, and here recommended to add at least a .mp4 file for video. You can add a .webm and .ogv file for fallback support on browsers that do not support MP4 video. Uh, most browsers support MP4. 
uh, the video will play in Google Chrome and Firefox when previewing your website locally. It will play on all other browsers once it is uploaded to a live server. The video will seek and loop once it is uploaded to a live server. And then we have a video converter here as well. All right, so I've added the video. And when you, when you add the video, uh, this image here will not change. It's kind of just a placeholder so you know how much space the video player is taking up within the website. But if I preview in the browser, I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser. And I click. Yeah, we can see the video here. Let me just refresh that. We can see we have the play button. If I click, the video plays. I can make it full screen and perfect. This is an MP4 video. Okay, so I'll just minimize it here and we can play the video there. And we can also set the video player to responsive width, responsive width and height. And we can set it to none as well. Right now it's set to none. So the video player isn't resizing as I resize the browser. Um, if I click on this, uh, the video player here, and I go to the resize option, I can set it to responsive width and height. So if I preview, yeah, if I preview the browser and I resize, we can see the video gets really small. So I'll click play and there we have the video. Perfect. All right, so there's the video player. And uh, just as a quick example, if you do set it to responsive width, I'd actually recommend setting it to responsive width and height. So there's no extra spacing between elements on your website. So if I preview and I resize, we can see everything moves relative to each other. If I were to just set it to responsive width within the resize option and I preview, we can see we have a gap in between the video player and the element here. So if you set it to responsive width and height um, and you have other elements on the site, they'll move relative to the video player here. Okay, so that's the video player. So I'll just delete this here. Now let's bring in the video player with the light box. So I'll go to the library panel and I'll scroll down to the HTML5 video player, which is right here. And here we have the HTML5 video player widget with the light box. So here I'll click, hold and drag, place into the website and I'll click on add file. So here within the widget, you can set the video width and the video height. Uh, this is a 16-9 aspect ratio. You can set any size you'd like for the video player within the light box. You'll just wanna make sure that if your video is a 16-9 aspect ratio, that you have a 69 aspect ratio here. Uh, otherwise, you'll see black bars either at the top or on the side of the video. So here we have similar options to, to the video player. So I'll click add file and I'll add the video files here. And poster image, okay. And then here we have this option called enable video overscaling. So if the width of the browser gets larger than 1280 pixels in width, the video will get larger as well. So here it's disabled and I'll enable it to show an example um, in a second. Uh, you can loop the video within the light box as well. And then here we have a reference. It says place this widget over the element you would like the user to click on to open the light box. So at first you have this play button. It's just a placeholder. When you preview the site, so if I preview the site, uh, the play button won't show, um, but you can click on that area that the play button is taking up or this widget container here is taking up. So if I were to create a rectangle, the same size as this widget, and I fill the rectangle. Here, let me zoom in a bit. And let me set the rectangle to the back. And we have this play button over the rectangle. When we click on the rectangle, it'll open the light box with the HTML5 video. So I'll preview, and there we have the rectangle. I'll click, and we have the light box. It opens the light box. Looks good. So that's it for adding the light box widget. Um, you just add this widget over the element that you want the user to click on so that it'll open the light box. Um, it's just as simple as that. You want to add your video files. You can add MP4, WebM, OGV. Uh, most browsers now support MP4, and this video player works really well on mobile devices. So with mobile devices, the poster image will show, and the user has to manually select the play uh, the video player or the play button to play the video. And this is because data plans, uh, video takes up more data. So, you know, mobile devices have that feature built in where the user has to manually uh, play the video. 
Okay, so there we have it. I'll just show the uh, YouTube video player as well. So I'll go to the library panel and I'll go to the HTML5 video and I'll just bring in the YouTube video player widget right in here. Okay, and here you just enter the YouTube ID. So the ID after the youtube.com URL and you can add a poster image. So I can you know add a poster image there and the video player theme, I'll change it to the light theme here and I can loop the video and set the initial volume. Looks good. All right, I can play and then we have the YouTube video. Looks good. So one thing I will say about YouTube videos, when you add breakpoints, um, I think it has to do with the YouTube API at the moment. It it kind of looks for the uh, the video again. And if you resize the browser, which I don't think many people do, but if you resize the browser and you have the video playing and then you stop the video, it won't find the video again. So you just want to make sure that when you have a YouTube video with the video player um, that, you know, it's opened initially and then it's played from that initial initial uh, with within the browser. Um, this is just for the YouTube video. HTML5 video works really well even if you're resizing the browser. Okay, so that's the YouTube video and the YouTube video within the lightbox has no issues when resizing the browser as well. It's just the video player without being in the light, the YouTube video player without being in the lightbox. All right, so let me add the YouTube video within a lightbox. So let's go here, HTML5 uh, video player uh, within the light box. So I'll click there and we can see here for this play button, the placeholder, it's a red, it's the YouTube red color so that you know that this video player is a YouTube um, video player here. All right, so I'll just create another rectangle and I'll fill it with a color and I'll just play the, place this. Let me bring this to the top, arrange bring to front arrange yep bring to front there we go so it's at the top looks good yep, and i can resize it there i can also set the responsive uh, properties here within the resize option for the widget container you can say responsive width responsive width and height and stretch to browser width there so the widget container or the placeholder can be right over the element you want the user to click on when opening the, the light box all right so i'll preview in the browser and I'll click, and then we have the YouTube video in a light box. Perfect. All right, so I did move fairly quickly through this video. It's it's pretty simple. Um, you just add the add first. You can add the add first uh, with gradient as well, or the add first with the solid color and a uh, background image. So if I wanted a background image for the light box background, I'd just click on add file, and I could select any image. So I'll just go in here and I'll just select an image there and I'll preview and I'll click and then we have an image for the light box background you can also set the opacity so if you want the image to be a bit see-through in here I can say you know uh, 0.5 so one is fully visible and zero is not visible at all so I'll preview and we're gonna see that image is a bit uh, see-through in the background. All right, and then I'll just change the theme one more time here. We'll change the theme to dark. So we have the default theme, which is kind of a transparent theme. We have the light theme, which is lighter colors and the dark theme. And I'll select enable video overscaling so we can see an example of that. So I'll preview in the browser. And if I click, there we have the video. So if I make the browser larger, the video will fill the browser as much as it can. And if I resize, we can see it's responsive. So if I go into here and I change the video width and height, um, so let's say I say 960, and I'm gonna go to the aspect ratio calculator, the 169 aspect ratio calculator. So I know what to set the, um, the width. So here I'm gonna say 960, and the height will be 540. And this is just so I don't have any black bars around the video player. So here, 960, YouTube videos are at a 69 aspect ratio. So here I'll say uh, 960 by 540. And I'll disable, uncheck, enable video overscaling. And I'll preview and I'll open the light box. And if I resize, we can see the video doesn't get larger than 960 pixels in width because it doesn't have the overscaling option checked. 
If overscaling is checked, the video will try to fill as much of the browser as it can when it's being resized. And the video players within the lightbox are, res are responsive. So when you resize the browser, the video resizes as well. So here we're using the dark theme. So we can see that we have this black here for the bottom of the video player and the X and full screen buttons are dark as well. All right, so it's a really fun video player. Um, I really like it. It's very simple to use. It works really well on mobile. And just as an example of the video player working on mobile, I have the, the preview page opened on an iPhone 5S here with the Xcode app. And if I click on the play button, we can see the video opens and plays on an iPhone 5S. All right, looks good. And if I go down here and I open the light box, you can see the video plays as well. It opens the light box initially, but then it goes into the, the iOS video player because that's how iOS plays videos on mobile devices. So there we go. And then we have the YouTube video. And if I click play, it opens the YouTube video as well. So it's a really great video player. You can use it on mobile devices and you know you can have the video open in the light box. You can have a, a regular 16, nine aspect ratio video player. Um, you can add YouTube video and HTML5 video uh, to your website. Uh, so that is it for this video tutorial to get access to the HTML5 video player with Lightbox. Uh, you simply go to useforyoushop.com and here you can click on join today and here you can click on subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And right down here we have the HTML5 video player with Lightbox and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Here's the preview page that I went over in the beginning. Um, here are the features included, a few of the widget options. Um, here are the different widgets. So we have the three at first. So one thing I didn't go over is that you can add the light box with a gradient. So here I'll just actually do that real quick. And I'll go back in here and we'll do the at first with gradient light box. And I'll just add that right in there. And you can select two colors for the gradient. You can set the location, uh, the opacity for the first color, color two, location and opacity. And you can set the gradient angle to have a really nice gradient when the user opens the video within the light box. So as we can see, we have the gradient background there for the light box background. So that's using the, um, the at first, the HTML5 video player at first with gradient light box. So then I'll go back in here. So there we have the widget option. So we have the three at first. If you didn't have any video with a uh, light box, you could just add the at first widget without any light box uh, added to it. But if you did want video videos with uh, within a light box, you can just add a light box at first. And that will also work for the 16.9 video player that's added to the website. So then you can add uh, an HTML5 video player and a video player within the light box and a YouTube video player or YouTube video player within the light box. Each video must have a unique instance number, even if you have you know, uh, a video that's not in the light box and a video in a light box, they each have to have a unique instance number. So you know the videos here, they all have instance numbers. So just each video uh, should have a unique instance number, whether it's a HTML5 video or YouTube video and whether it's in a light box or not in a light box. All right, looks good. So here we have a few uh, of the other widget options. Uh, here we have the community community section, and this video will be right at, right here above the community section. Here, here there are some free stock videos you can take a look at. Here's a video converter that you can take a look at as well. So that is it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to meesforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.